It's Dave and Wanda from WGRC, and welcome to another episode of Around the Valley with Dave and Wanda, where today we're hanging out at the Miller Farm. At the Miller Farm, we're yes. We're going to find out about being a farrier. Yeah, I am going to say I have the best farrier there is. He's amazing with animals. His wife, Autumn, uh, just calms them as well. And the process itself is absolutely incredible. So we're going to introduce you to that, and uh, we're going to learn something new today. So you have two horses and two donkeys. Yes, here. And here. Uh, oh, that's right, because we, we you have Miss uh, Reba. Miss Reba. Who will be here at some point. Yes. So, I, you know, you, you hear all the time about, you know, horses needing new shoes, they need their feet taken care of, uh, but donkeys, do, do they have shoes or not? I have never heard of a donkey having shoes. I don't know why they would need them, but we'll ask Colton just to, just to be sure. All right. It'd well, have to be tiny little shoes. Tiny. Can you imagine? Like teeny baby tiny. Baby shoes. Yeah. 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 Do you, do you think he has a shoe for me? Uh, size 11. Oh, we can find something. All right. <laughs> hey, let's go see if we can find Colton and Autumn and learn a little bit about being a farrier. Let's go. WGRC's Around the Valley is sponsored by Zook Septic Services, serving central Pennsylvania. Contact them for inspections, repairs, and system maintenance needs at 570-837-1466 or at zooksteptic.com. Well, we are standing here with Colton and Autumn our uh, farriers for the day. Colton, Autumn, good to meet you guys. Nice to meet you guys. So tell us a little bit uh, about what's going to be happening today. I, I, I know I know we're taking care of horses and donkeys and their feet, their hooves. Yep. What's that going to look like? What can we expect? Uh, we'll basically pull the old shoes off and uh, I brought new ones. We'll put new shoes on for her. And I do hot fitting. So what I'll, I'll put the shoes in the forge, heat them up till they're red hot. Put them, press them onto the feet, and it burns a little bit. It doesn't hurt the horse or the donkey at all. They don't even feel it. And it just makes for a better heat between the foot and the shoe. And then we'll quench them in the water and nail them on. And you recently got, or working on, a I'm, certification. Tell I'm working on my, my certified pair. Once I get through with that, then I'll go, I want to go right into getting my journeyman. So, and then after you get your journeyman, there's other steps you can take to further your education. outside a little bit once we put his foot down so this is your this kind of yellowish creamy colored line yeah that's what they call the white line that's your uh, your lamina so you have your soul which is in here your frog uh, the bars are here your corns so your coffin bone sits in here and it feeds your soul and the lamina so everything from here out is dead mm. basically like your extra finger now you trim off everything from here in is live tissue so if wow. i'd get down if i trim him <laughs> down too far he would start to bleed gotcha. and then he'd be sore for a little while but we're not going to do that so do you, uh, are you intentionally going to leave some of the dead tissue or does all that come off? No, we'll leave some there. Because if he gets, you can trim them pretty short and then uh, sometimes they'll get a little sore, tender for a few days. So you can actually push on that. And if you feel it starting to give, you're getting close to where it's too much. The horse's foot is kind of like some people like if you trim it sometimes you'll see red or a little bruising and they think well you're getting close to blood that's not how it works it's either there's no blood or there's blood gotcha. like there's no you can't see through it gotcha. so i'm just going to relieve some soul pressure 
One thing that amazes me is how long Colton can stand like that. <laughs> back, right? I mean, all day, every day. Like, that is absolutely crazy. Yeah. I always say I hope he invests in a chiropractor. Oh, yeah. He does. Oh, good. Yep. Good, good. So when you're not holding his hoof, do you have a... Do you have it locked into your leg or is he just cooperating? Um, a little both. It kind of sits right in the groove of your knee. Like I, you don't really have your leg straight or else it just falls down. So you turn your leg to the side and it kind of just sits right there in the... You'd know if he was fighting it for sure. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Like a new shoe, this would be what Tucker's gonna end up getting probably. And then this one's probably had two or three resets done on it. Okay. You can see it's just it's thin, it's worn. Oh yeah. The toes worn out on it. Yeah. So at that point I'd I'd say put a new shoe on. Also allows you to see where you have sole pressure. Mm. Pretty much anything inside that white line is going to be pushing on the sole of his foot and it can make him sore. So now you can see exactly where your shoe is touching. You just pair it out so that there's a small gap there. Don't pick up the hot shoe with your bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this has been a very uh, fascinating day. You know, you, you hear about uh, people going and placing shoes on yeah. horses, yeah. but I didn't know the term farrier until we started talking about this, but uh, pretty neat to get to meet Colton and his wife, Autumn. And of course, thank you to you for allowing oh, us you're so to uh, interact with your horses and donkeys, but what a skill to have. Yeah, it's actually really amazing. And the patience that it takes to work with horses with so many different personalities are just like people. You never know what you're going to get. So I'm so grateful for someone that loves his job the way he does and, and does such a good job of it. And, you know, and we understand, you know, as, as humans, it's important to take care of your uh, feet. I mean, that that is the way we, yeah. we get around. And, um, you know, horses animals in general same thing you know you Very using the uh, the feet and of course here in central pa uh horses use and i'm sure around the country but especially right here in central pa uh, a lot of horses doing a lot of work uh, yeah. and and provide the income for a lot of people so important to take Absolutely. care of their feet or I, I guess i should say their hooves their hooves yes. yes well their feet you can say their feet yeah that's good too well it has been a lot of fun we certainly hope you have uh, enjoyed uh, this video, we'd love to come and visit you. Maybe you have a craft, hobby, or occupation that you would like to teach us or highlight for us, or maybe you have a place of interest that you would like us to visit. Be sure to submit your ideas via email. That is morningshow at wgrc.com, morningshow at wgrc.com. And who knows, we may just see you Around, around the, the valley. valley. All right, Dave. Now that we're done with the horses, now it's time to go spread some manure. Great. Here we go. Hold on.